Hello, my name is Tony Pike and I am the founder of CAT3C. CAT3C is designed to provide supplemental training as you work your way through your ATPL studies. To help you achieve your goal of becoming a professional pilot, CAT3C have developed an invaluable series of unique EASA ATPL exam passbooks, which have been specifically designed for the iPad and are available in the Apple iBook store. The passbooks contain hundreds of exam style questions and are supported by clear in-depth explanations and interactive diagrams. The link to the iBooks can be found on the webpage below or at the CAT3C website at the Bookstore tab. Additionally, we currently deliver three-day classroom-based general navigation courses and will also be providing future interactive online training sessions plus a range of pre-recorded video seminars. More information on our online sessions and our three-day UK-based classroom training courses can be found at our website www.cat3c.com But for now, sit back and enjoy this QEV. What is the initial great circle track from B to A and in which hemisphere are the two positions located if the initial great circle track from A to B is 080 degrees true and the rum line track from A to B is 083 degrees true? The optional answers are A, 260 degrees true and in the northern hemisphere, B, 266 degrees true and in the southern hemisphere, C, 260 degrees true and in the southern hemisphere, or D, 266 degrees true and in the northern hemisphere. To answer this question, what I'm going to do is create two diagrams, one of the northern hemisphere, one of the southern hemisphere, and compare them to see which one can be right and which one will be wrong. So start off by drawing the meridians in the northern hemisphere converging towards the top. In the southern hemisphere, the meridians diverge towards the top, like so. The track line goes across from west to east because we're told that at A, the great circle track is 080 degrees true. Do the same for the southern hemisphere. Now to find out which one's correct, I need to add in the rum line tracks. Each great circle has a rum line track, and in each case it's on the equatorial side of the great circle. Therefore in the northern hemisphere, it curves down towards the south from the great circle track, and in the southern hemisphere, it curves up away from the great circle track. We're told the rum line track is 83 degrees true. Comparing the rum line track 083 degrees true with the great circle track 080 degrees true, we can see that the rum line track appears to be greater in size than the great circle track, which is correct as 83 is a greater number than 80. So that would be correct. In the southern hemisphere, we can see that the 083 degree true track, the rum line track, appears to be smaller than 080 degree true great circle track. So 83 is not a smaller number than 80, so that cannot be correct. So it cannot be in the southern hemisphere, it must be in the northern hemisphere. The track angle at A is 083 degrees true, the rum line track, therefore being a constant bearing, the rum line track at B is also 083 degrees true. Which means that the reciprocal track from B to A is 263 degrees true, which is 083 plus 180. The great circle track, we can see, is greater than the rum line track by that angle, which is conversion angle. And conversion angle is the difference between the great circle track and the rum line track. And we will have one at each end. Well, we can see the value of the conversion angle at this end. It's the difference between 83 and 80, which is 3 degrees. 
If it's three degrees on this side, it will be three degrees on this side. So the great circle track is greater than the rum line track, therefore it's equal to 263 degrees true plus the three degrees equals 266 degrees true. Therefore the answer must be 266 degrees true and in the northern hemisphere.